In this video, we are going to be deploying LifeKit Cloud Agents to our mobile device. Uh, make a Twilio account. Initially, we'll need a DeepGram, a Cartesia, and an OpenAI keys. Uh, that's what we require for this video. You guys can also check out my SOP that I created from my previous four minute video on how to set up LifeKit Agents. Uh, I'll pop that up right now. But we're actually going to go do everything again from scratch. So I run through uh, the full thing on how to set all this up and what it all means. I like to start off in my uh, terminal because this life get agent stuff is actually to do with the command line. You would have type in brew install life kit. So I already have this, so it won't do much for me. I was actually auto updated. Okay, great. <laughs> so I've got an update. Fantastic. Or if you're on uh, Windows, there's another command you run. Let's just clear this up. Then we type in LK Cloud Auth, and this will bring up a pop-up. Yep. <clears throat> and we select the project from our, our LifeKit account. And we jump back. We select, yes, YouTube, YouTube test. Then I want to uh, go to the projects where I hold all my cursor projects. So I go CD cursor and jump into the here. And then this is where I'm going to install everything. If I type, type in and now LK app create, we get a bunch of things that we can use as a starter. We are going to choose agent starter Python. Press enter. And this one is going to call this YouTube test. And I'll be right back. I'm just going to type in all my keys. All right, well, that's awesome. So now that we've put in all of our API keys, um, we then run these commands and just make sure we're in that folder that we just created. So if you type in CD YouTube test, um, from here, I like to open up cursor. So we go type in cursor and full stop. And it brings up my, and brings up my uh, cursor terminal. So I'm gonna command, press command J just to bring up my Terminal right here, let's zoom in a little bit. And see, I've already got everything kind of set up. So now what we need to do is come back to our terminal and then just copy these uh, commands. So we go UV sync, and this creates a virtual environment for us already using Rust. Um, and then we just type in, then we just grab this, paste that in, run that. It's gonna download uh, everything that we have in here already. So it's going to install all these things for us. Okay. Let's test it in our console. Hello. Hello. How can I assist you today? Great. That works. Cool. So now we have it in our console and now what we want to do is push it to our LifeKit cloud and we just need to type in a few easy commands. And if you guys follow my SOP, all we need to really do is type in LK agent create. And then just type in yes. Choose the secrets file we are using. And it will automatically do everything for, for us. This process takes about 30 to 60 seconds. After it deploys, you will get this message. It says, would you like to view logs? Um, doesn't really matter, but sure, why not? So it'll be useful later on for our inbound calls with Twilio. But while this is this is happening, uh, let's just go through the cheat sheet. So I'll explain some stuff uh, in here. And the thing I want to look at is this thing right here. So we used this line to authenticate our command line with LifeKit. Then we use this to create our agent. We use this to install our dependencies and uh, as well as uh, this right here. We use this to install all of our dependencies. Uh, we can run this locally just to test it and play around with it. Then we can have this to create it on the first time we deploy it to the cloud. Then if we want to update any code, 
we type in LK agent deploy. Um, then we can run this to watch the agent run. Now on a free LifeGit account, you can only use one agent at a time. This was our starter Python agent that I had made for you guys last video. You can just copy this code and put it in and deploy it. However, now we are going to do the um, LifeGit Twilio setup right now. I'm actually gonna do some of these things not following exactly what's in here. So like I won't be doing this stuff, for example, using a command line, I'll do it using the um, UI. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into Twilio. And in Twilio, we'll type in uh, SIP trunk. Go to Elastic SIP trunk. Type in create new SIP trunk. Give it a name. So I'm gonna call it YouTube test. Click on create. Go to origination. Add a new origination URI. And we are gonna go to our account. Go to telephony. In the configuration tab, we'll have SIP URI. We copy this baby, we'll jump back and put it back in right. So it likes. Then we need to type in uh, the semicolon transport equals TCP. So we just paste that in. So it looks like this. And I would recommend setting this to a one and a one. It will just make it uh, prioritize your CPRI over anything else we are going to be using. So we click on add. Now we click into numbers, add a number. Add an existing number, choose the number we want to assign this to. And now we have this assigned. So in that number that we want to use for our test, we are going to have a SIP trunk right here. And the SIP trunk that we created should be the YouTube test. And at the moment, that is all we really need to do. So once we've got this set up in Twilio, we can now come back into LifeKit, click on create new, click on trunk, uh, select inbound, punch in our number, click on optional settings, enable crisp. Uh, let's call this uh, inbound Twilio. Then we click on create new dispatch rule. We'll call this telephony underscore agent room type will select individual. That means only one person per room or per like call will be able to uh, join. And then here we'll call this telephony agent. My bad. So um, that first one, let's just call this uh, dispatch inbound. And we'll have telephony agent and then match trunks and then click on inbound tool area right here. And there are a few steps in here. So one is dispatch inbound. This doesn't really matter what we call it. Call prefix, just say call. Then we clicked on this button. We now typed in telephony agent, and this actually has to be matching that because we are going to be using this later on in our code in a bit. So we got telephony agent, uh, then we go match trunks and then click on inbound Twilio and then click on create. And then we jump back to our SOP right here and you'll find this thing in here called code. And this is the code we now want to back, go, go back to cursor and then replace this whole file in here. So I'm just gonna delete everything that I had and then just click on that and then just save that. So I'm just gonna control C this to get out of it and we need to redeploy this code. So we can type in LK agent deploy. So running into, you guys won't get this error, but I did. So when I typed in LK agent deploy, I was getting this error here. Now the reason was is because my current project is voice and I deleted all my API keys previously. So you guys won't have this if it's like a new account. That won't be the issue. But just in case what I had to do was type in LK agent deploy dash dash project and then type in the project name that I we you know we initially made and I deployed it to that um, actual uh, project instead of the one that I had originally. So now um, let's now push that agent to right here. It's uh, still pending, so it's still deploying. So now we're just going to um, run this command. And now we should see that run. And when I call call that number now on my phone, um, hello, what's going on? 
just waiting to help out. How can I assist you today? Got a question or need some info? Um, no, I was just testing whether you work. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm always here, ready to pounce on any questions you have. If you need anything, just let me know. Cool. There you go. Yeah, now you have an inbound agent that's hooked up to LifeKit Cloud. It's pretty much for free. We are using GPT-4 Mini, which costs absolutely nothing. We are using Cartesia, which is free for um, the first few hundred minutes. And then we have DeepGram, which is also that give you like $200 uh, worth of free credit as well. So what you can do with this is actually have a uh, hundred concurrent sessions running and it also uh, you have a thousand free minutes on LifeKit. Anyway, I just purely just made this video because I didn't really see many tutorials on how to hook it up to LifeKit agents directly to Twilio. So that was my intention here. If that helped you, uh, please leave a comment um, just saying that it did. And I'm not sure if I'll be making more LifeKit videos at all. So currently sitting on that fence about where to, where to take the YouTube channel next whether I should focus more on uh, like general AI stuff or focus on voice stuff so, or just automation or something like that. So thank you guys and catch you later.